are starting in Chicago, heading to Santa Monica, California. It's gonna take about two weeks. I'm gonna document it as best as I can. Um, there's, I'm gonna try to do the Route 66 as close to the original uh, is, that I can. It's not easy to follow, uh, but I've been doing some research and I'm gonna try to do that as best as I can. Um, I'm not going to spend a lot of time documenting like the big cities like Chicago and St. Louis and Los Angeles. Uh, I'm going to focus on the small towns and the unique things in those places. And, um, and then some of the towns that aren't there anymore, some of the, you call them ghost towns and towns that, you know, during the route 66, you know, heyday, they were, you know, popular or they had things there. And then as the highways were built, the big, big highways across America and people didn't go in Route 66 anymore that uh, those towns kind of disappeared. So I'm interested to see those things. It's the ultimate road trip. They call it the mother road. So I guess you could call it the mother of all road trips. So the beginning of this trip, we're kind of stuck in Chicago for a little while. Um, so I've heard that once you get past Joliet, Illinois, that it kind of becomes a little more like what you think of Route 66. So bear with me here through the early parts of uh, the trip and then we'll be getting out more on the open road. chilly a little rainy as we are basically leaving Chicago and starting to head south uh, the way I set this trip up was the first day I just wanted to kind of get started a little bit I have some friends that live in Chicago I was able to uh, stay last night at a friend's house the beginning the first day was a little difficult to try to figure out where to go because basically you're just in Chicago and obviously the original route 66 is not really there and it's so densely populated and um, it's it's hard to figure out kind of where to go and you don't really get a sense for this is what Route 66 was. So, so now today I'm looking forward to that.
I have made it to Springfield. It got a little dark there at the end, but I have made it. I'm at the Route 66 Hotel and Conference Center, I think it's called. Day two, done, Route 66. It was a blast. Places along Route 66 where there's two different ways you can go. One is the older original way, and then one is a newer way, you know, from like the 1940s or something like that. So, um, south of Springfield, there's this decision where you have to kind of go. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go the newer version first, and then I'm going to backtrack about 50 miles and then hit the older version because I want to go to every part that I can.